What's happening? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Fight fans, everybody out there in uh, YouTube, fight fan land. Um, it's your boy, Lucky Luck, aka the Lover Boy, aka the Bad Boy. A.K.A. Mr. Loba, man. Mr. Loba, Loba. Now I'm playing with y'all. Anyway. Yo. I woke up this morning. And I, I got some kind of upsetting news. Kind of offensive as a professional fighter. Boxer, whatever. Um, I woke up and saw that Peter Quillen announced his relinquishing of his title. Um, I don't remember if it's WBO or IBF, whatever. Um, the offensive part to me, um, isn't that, okay, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain, okay, now, when it comes to world champions out there, in my opinion, Peter Quillen is probably one of the weakest out there, in my division, I call him probably the weakest out there, um, actually, I plan on going down to uh, 154 and campaigning at that weight class, but in the in, in the weight division I'm in right now, Peter Quillen is the weak champion. Now they asked him to do a mandatory and defend his title, I guess, and unify the titles, and he had to fight Triple G, right? This this is this is what I'm hearing. And he relinquishes the title. He says, fuck it. I don't want to be the world champ anymore. <laughs> and then he fucking leaves the statement. Like, I've been the world champion for two years. I'm, I was like, I couldn't believe that shit, yo. I was very, very offended. Like, I personally, myself, this is the difference between a real fighter. There's a, there's a big difference between a real fighter and these, these, these paper champion dudes, these fake fighters, these career prima donna dudes, okay? When you're a fighter, this is the way you can tell the difference between a professional boxer, like a real fighter, and just some old whatever, whatever fake dude who's faking it till he makes it on some bullshit or trying to scheme his way to the top. Real fighters want to fight certain people. You may, ju you may want to fight the champ. And that may be who you aspire to fight. That may be it. That may be all. That may be in a nutshell. You may not care who you got to fight to get to the champ. You just might want the champ. But you have... There, as a fighter, you want to fight somebody. Because, I mean, it's, besides the fact that it's your job to fight somebody... There are, you just want to fight certain people. It's just what you do. It's like if you sing, you want to sing at a certain venue. You may want to sing in front of the people at Madison Square Garden one day. You may want to sing in, in Dublin or sing at, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain. Like, you just, there are certain things that you, you have that you want, that you, that you, that you aspire to, that you look forward to. As a fighter, there are certain people that you probably want to punch in the face more than other people. Sometimes you might get in the ring with dudes and it just might be business. You might get in the room, ring with some dudes and you don't like them at all. Some dudes, you just want their, their status or you, you think that they don't deserve their accolades. Or you just might want their rank or their title. Whatever it is. There are people that you want to fight. As a real fighter, you want to fight certain people. That's it. So, these fighters out here, when you hear them say like, 
Oh, I don't know who I want to fight. I don't want to fight anybody. You know, it's up to my manager. It's whatever. Yeah. Unless they're already the champ, they're they're full of shit. They're not a real they're not a real fighter. Period. Let alone champion. They're not a real fighter. Okay. Now, when you've made it to the top, and and everybody else is underneath you. Then you might feel like, man, I done fought all the people that I wanted to fight. I, I'm where I want to be. And and everybody else, you're looking behind you. Like, like uh, if you reach Mayweather status, which I shouldn't even talk about because that's like unattainable for 99.9999% of all fighters. There's only one Mayweather, just like there's only one Ali. But um, long story short, uh, at that point, if you don't want to call people out, that's on you. But if you're a fighter that's up and coming, you, you, want, you should want to call people out. If you're holding a title and there are several other champions in your weight division, you should want to unify them. Like, I just, I don't see how it makes sense to say, oh shit, it's mandatory that I unify these titles? Nah, fuck that. My career ain't over, but I'm letting these belts go. <laughs> Dog, that is embarrassing, dog. That is embarrassing, man. And I'm going to say this. Peter Quillen may be what I feel is the weakest champion in the division, but I will say that he's not the weakest hitter. I heard that he was a harder puncher than Triple G. It's just Triple G's punch has what you call more snap in it, more whip in it. But as far as the thud and the impact and the punch goes, I heard that Peter Quillen's a harder puncher. Um, I guess his heart ain't this big, though. I don't know. Um, shoot. Long story short, I'm, 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 um, honestly, I'm, I'm offended, uh, as a fighter. I'm offended as a person who respected him as a champion, because even though I looked at him like, oh, man, you know, if I got to fight a champ, I'd, I'd want to fight him, um, I, I still respected the fact that he was champion. You know what I mean? He made it to where I want to make it. He made it to where any fighter, as long as you're a real fighter, you should want to be champ one day. He made it to that, that point. And to relinquish it, like, it ain't like he was holding the title for 10 years and he getting old and, you know, he's about to be a grandpa. Like, that ain't the case. Like, I don't know, if somebody else got a case for him, if somebody has a case where they feel that it was logical for him to let go of the belt, maybe he caught some ridiculous disease, uh, you know, just before fighting Triple G or something like that. Um, Whatever the case may be, somebody let me know. Uh, Feel free to leave a comment, subscribe. It's your boy Lucky Luck, you know. I would turn my head right now, but... My, I twist, I got a cramp in my neck, so swag, <laughs> um, all that good stuff, man. Holla at your boy. Talk to me. I talk back. Um, I'm looking forward to fighting sometime soon. Give me about a month or so. Looking into some uh, some nice, nice looking fights, big venues or televised at least. You know what I mean. Next time I'm gonna try to let everybody know when I'm fighting on TV and I'll. Let you guys know the date and the time so you can watch it and catch it. Um, my last one was on BKB uh, pay-per-view. And I did not really say much beforehand because I was so focused. Um, but I did have the time to say something. And I could have and should have said something. So next time I'll say something about it. Uh, it's your boy, your favorite boxing vlogger, Lucky Luck. Holla at your boy. Stay up.